I'm Avery and I'm teaching Merlin's Mission this summer. So uh, during this camp we're going to go through and read some of my favorite Magic Treehouse books. And uh, one of our big projects throughout the camp is to make our own Magic Treehouse. So that's what this video is about, is how we're going to make our own Magic Treehouse. So uh, throughout the camp every day we'll be doing a little bit at a time, but today we're just going to do the whole thing. So. What we're gonna need for this build is we'll need a styrofoam ball cut in half. I cut out a little um, little semicircle to fit them together for our base. We're gonna need some crazy sticks and twigs from outside. This is gonna be our tree base. And then we'll need some moss. This is craft moss from like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, then we're gonna need uh, some popsicle sticks. Um, and you guys can use my design or you can make your own design, uh, but just popsicle sticks cut at different lengths depending on what exactly you wanna do with your treehouse. And obviously you're gonna need some hot glue and some brown paint as finishing touches for your treehouse. Okay, so the first step is to make this base um, with the, the, the styrofoam ball. Uh, so since I've already done that, we'll go ahead and start with building our tree base. So something that's important to do while you're making your tree base is think about how you're going to support your tree house. So I've gotten a lot of crazy twigs. Um, I was thinking I could maybe use this twig right here to support my tree house a little bit. Maybe have my tree house sit here. So I think I'm going to try to set it up like that. So this one's a little long, so I'll break off the end. Okay, while it's drying, I want to kind of talk about why this class is, I think, such a great class and why Magic Treehouse is something that I'm passionate about. As a kid, because uh, I'm, I'm dyslexic, um, I'm dyslexic, but as a kid, I really hated to read. But Magic Treehouse, actually, because the books were so short and they're easy to read, and I thought that they were really engaging, it actually it made me like to read. And uh, as I was reading through the curriculum for this course, I actually remembered um, a tradition that uh, my mom created while I, when I was a kid that every Thanksgiving we would read the Thanksgiving themed Magic Treehouse book while we're driving to visit family. And I just remember how that brought our family together on every Thanksgiving. So Magic Treehouse just has a special place in my heart. Okay, so at the end, We'll kind of paint the base brown and add some moss in. But for now, we'll just go ahead and start building our treehouse into this structure. Okay, so now that we've made our first platform, what we'll do is find the best way that it fits in our tree. So I think since this side is so heavy, we'll probably rest it right here. I think that seems like the best bet. Yeah. So I'm going to add in a few more supports on each side here and here to raise it up a little bit. And those will be connecting points to add it onto the tree. So now, while this dries, we'll set it aside and we'll finish building our entire tree house. So I'm thinking we'll have a little, maybe a little fence in our little house here. So, yeah. So I'll go ahead and get started on that. First thing I need to do is build all the other walls. So 
So on these popsicle sticks, I've just cut off the rounded ends to shorten them a little bit. So now we're done with our treehouse. So the next step is to attach it to our base with our tree in it. So it should fit right on because of the way that I designed it. See, just like that. So we'll glue it straight on and then we will go about decorating it. Looking good. And we have our magic tree. Okay guys, this is our magic tree house. I think it turned out really good. Uh, I mean, it could use a little bit more moss, maybe some leaves in the trees. Uh, but you know, in the class we'll definitely do some more. We'll probably paint it brown, uh, give it a dried brush effect. Of course, put more, put more moss in, make the, the tree nice and lush. Uh, but if you guys wanna follow along at home, and uh, do this on your own. Make sure you share any photos of your creations on Instagram or Facebook. Use the tag, uh, this is how I steam work, and we'll uh, take a look and we'd love to see what you make. So if you like this build, come and see us for our Merlin's Mission Camp and we'd love to see you.